Morning guys, another nice dry day. It's been nice the last few weeks, been enjoying it. Anyway, today is going to be the first day of this year that I'm going to take the ride on mower out. And this is the first and only ride on mower I've, I've, I've ever had. I think I've owned it over 10 years now, I might just check later. The reason I bought this mower is because it collects and also you can put a, a deflector on if you don't want to collect. Now if you're thinking about buying your first ever ride on mower and you're going to do residential work, you really need to buy something that collects because if it doesn't collect there's going to be many jobs you're just not going to be able to get because most of the residential customers want you to collect the grass because obviously it looks a lot nicer and tidier when you finish. If you're only going to do commercial work, you might get away with not having a collector. But I've got to be honest, there's a lot of commercial jobs I still collect on because I have no problem getting rid of the grass. Or there's some places on the jobs where I can get rid of the grass and it always looks nicer. And the other thing is, when you go there again, it's easier to cut because you're not cutting through any of the old debris. Sometimes it's good to drop the grass on there. It, it can add a few nutrients into the ground, you know, and help it get going at the start of the year. But generally, I think collecting grass is, is a good thing. I know on big, big open areas, maybe some of the parks and that, it's, it's not practical, practical to, co to collect grass. And um, obviously, if you're going to do that, it's going to take longer and you need to charge more money. And then um, you get to the stage where the, the quote just isn't going to be cost effective for, for the client you're quoting for. Today, I'm going to take the collector out and the, and the cow and uh, see how we get on. And also, I'll do a video on how we get the grass into builder's bags as we're cutting the grass. So guys, I'm just hoping that this uh, mow is going to start now. Topped it up with diesel about a week ago. Uh, I've got a new battery on it, so I shouldn't see any problems, hopefully. Right, when the engine's cold, I always count to five before I turn it on. Let it heat up a bit. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> While I'm getting the truck ready and the trailer ready, I'll leave the mower running, get it, get it warmed up, so we get to the next job. We're not, we're not draining the battery. We're keeping the battery topped up. What I've done in regards to scheduling, what I've done, I've put three jobs together, which we need to use a ride on on all of them. Um, you, you need to be really efficient in this trade if you want to, if you want to make some money. So there's no point putting the mower on, hitching, hitching the trailer on, just to go out and do one small job. So we've put pretty much out most of the day now with the ride on mower uh, before I have to come back to the yard. So the ride on ain't out with us every day, but when it's with us, we're going to make sure it does some work. Well guys, just arrived at my first job. And the reason I've chose this job first is because there's some work to do on the car parks. And soon the cars will be getting here. So it's important to get all the strimming done where the car parks first. Blow it off the hard surface. And then we're reducing the risk of any stones hitting the vehicles. Mm -hmm. 
there's Mikey over there he's just getting set up so all he's thinking about at the moment is trimming and mowing and to be fair it's not the grass isn't too long at the moment and one of the reasons for that is that we did a, a really late cut uh, last year which is always beneficial if you're doing this kind of work is always get a late cut in now this is the area I'm going to use the ride on so sometimes I don't make a decision until I turn up to a job because you don't really know what you're going to get um, I think on this occasion I'm going to give the deflector a go but if the grass is really long I'd actually probably prefer to collect it because when I come next time I don't want to be cutting through long dead grass but at the moment I think I'm going to get away with it and just another tip guys um, you don't need to rush out with the ride on mate at the start of the year remember the ground is still quite wet and all you're going to do is make uh, divots in the grass so I know, I know you want to make the money in that but sometimes you could just do the uh, pedestrian mowing side of the job and then do the ride on work a little bit later on in the year when the ground's hardened up I lost the old pin, so I'm just going to use an old key ring. Just to hold that in place. That's the original pin. Okay, try and get a bit of footage for you. You have to remember this deflector is take it off before you go back on the trailer. I learnt my lesson when I first got it and uh, I dented all this along here. So, I find once you do something pretty bad you never do it again. <laughs> so here is an example of a wheel rut. One day, I don't know why, maybe they weren't new working for the council or something but um, 
you can see quite obviously that I cut this area here and the council do the bit over there but one day they come over into here on a wet day and they put a wheel rut right through here so now it's making it harder for me to mow now because my wheel on my mower drops into that rut sometimes so I have to keep my eye on on it and make sure my wheels are on each side of the rut when I'm cutting so there, there's a good reason for not putting a heavy machine on uh, soft grass so I've just been around and collected some litter and Michael's mowed and trimmed and he always collects the grass at the front because it looks nicer when uh, customers are coming in and out so anyway we're going to go to the next job after a bit of sweeping and we'll see you in a bit just turned up to job number two what I've noticed there's quite a bit of debris on the lawns first so the first job to do is go around and pick all the sticks up what you don't want to do when you're mowing is keep stopping to pick sticks up especially when you're on a ride on you just want to get on it and do the job so just put the time in at the start to clear all the debris there's me bag of sticks well worth getting them up I know some of you might think the mower get all the sticks up but they don't get all of them up and what they and what you end up doing is driving the sticks into the ground so always best to get them up so same again like the last job Michael's doing the pedestrian mowing on this part of the lawn we always like to get lines in but if we had a few weeks of rain and I lost control of this area a little bit I wouldn't hesitate to put the ride on back on just to gain control Like mowing, now you mow it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't think I've uh, used the push mower this year. <laughs> I was a bit surprised earlier. Mike came up to me and said, "Should we leave this area um, because the flowers look nice?" And I said to him, "Yeah, why not? We'll just mow it next time we come." I think he's getting a bit hippie like me. Yeah, so it won't hurt to leave them. then guys that's the end of this video for now hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video give me a like if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and if you know anyone who's starting a business like this maybe share it with them and also please have a look at some of my previous videos i made quite a few last year goodbye for now